Jamat Karsandu reporting for Sony Sports Network in India here in Louisville, Kentucky, standing alongside one half of the main event, Jared Cannonier. And Jared, first of all, it's good to see you in person. Uh, I just hit level 40 uh, a few months ago. You're on level 40 as well. Level 40. Level 40. Yes. So I just wanted to ask uh, at level 40, what does it feel like, you know, coming off of the injury and rehab and putting a camp together and making weight? How does it feel? Mm -hmm. I feel great. You know, camp is, is a, uh, physical therapy recovery was a success. Camp yet again is another success. Uh, leveled up big time in the. I level up big time in camps. I level up. It's been a. It would have been. It will have been a year by the time we get back into the into the octagon or close to a year. And uh, I've been improving. You know, at every turn since then. Even though I've had the injury. Um, where I do my physical therapy, I also do my strength and conditioning. So I've been making improvements in other areas there. And uh, all the time I spend in the gym, fight camp, the time before the injury, I've been making improvements, getting ready for fights, getting ready for this one. And um, I'm going to be a better version of myself when I step into the Octagon Saturday night. You know, a lot of this uh, process for you recently, while it ha may have been physical, the rehab and putting everything together for this camp, you're such a spiritual person. So I wanted to ask, like, how have you leveled up uh, in this process mentally? Um, well, you know, the can or uh, the injury was a tr came at a trying time. Uh, not only did I already have a fight schedule, but I also received the opportunity to fight in a big fight against Hamzat in Abu Dhabi, and um, the same day I got the opportunity was the same day the injury happened. So uh, it was a very trying moment uh, for anybody to experience that. Uh, but um, I'm able to uh, not stay in the negative. Uh, go to the positive. I understood. I know that I have I have uh, supreme trust in my team. Like I said, I do my physical therapy the same place I do some of my strength and conditioning, and I trust them uh, wholeheartedly. I've done, had multiple injuries, and they've brought me back from those uh, more severe injuries, and they brought me back from those. So um, I trusted my surgeon. I trusted my physical therapist. I trusted all the the program that we do there. I trust the uh, the MMA lab and the camp that I've had there. Um, and just trusting the process, you know what I'm saying? Uh, being consistent, putting in the work, and um, trusting the people I, I have around me. You know, I put myself in a very good position, a very good environment, and I can't do nothing but grow in a positive uh, manner in, uh, in those areas. So, you know, my mental is always strong. I've always had a strong mentality. Um, that's what brought me here in the first place, you know, and um, I've only grown since then. What's at stake in this fight against Nasruddin Imamov? Because I feel like the middleweight division is fascinating right now. We just saw Sean Strickland defeat Paolo Costa. We have Hamza versus Whitaker coming up. Mm -hmm. What's at stake in this fight for you on Saturday night? For me, I'm fighting a little bit down in the rankings. So um, that is at stake. Um, at stake. I'm really close to a title. So that is at, at stake. I'm coming off of a win off the number three guy, record-breaking fight of the night performance. Um, so the momentum I've had from that fight is, is at stake, if you will. But, excuse me, that's not really my, my concern. My concern is always going into the octagon and, be, and being the best version of myself, putting forth the, uh, the best effort, having the best performance I've ever had, and crushing my opponent. So that's always the, uh, the focus when going into these things, not the things that are at stake, you know what I mean? I know we do this for money, and of course, uh, extra check is at stake, a bonus is at stake, all that stuff is at stake, but again, I'm a martial artist and I do this because I love doing the martial arts. It helps me grow as a human being to be a be better person, a better man, and uh, provide for my family. So um, um, <clears throat> I'm self-motivated in this. All the extra stuff is just extra, and I don't really need it to to go in there and do what I wanna do, you know? So. Um, like I said, I'm ready to crush my opponent. That's my, that's the biggest thing that's at stake. <laughs> Either crushing them or finding a way to crush them. Either whether it be by knockout, by submission, by by referee or doctor stoppage or by corner stoppage. I appreciate that. Now you've been in the UFC for quite some time. Here. I'm here for Sony Sports Network, and one of the big reasons I'm here is because Pooja Toma, the very first female Indian fighter in UFC history, will be making her debut on this card. You've made that walk a bunch of times. If you could give any advice to Pooja as she gets ready to make her UFC debut, what would you say to her? 
focus on the training that she is all, all that he's she's done that has got her here and uh, focus on trying to perform at the best of her ability, try not to focus on the crowd or the cameras or the lights. Um, those are always going to be there, but um, they, if it, anyway, they'll just take more energy from her focus on those things that are most, most important. So and focus on handling her business. And finally, when you close your eyes and you envision this fight playing out, how do you defeat Nasruddin Imavov? I see Nasruddin avoiding a lot of the power and the, to net the uh, pressure that I'm going to put on him. But um, it's going to be hard because we're going to be in, locked in an octagon. So uh, I say this before, I've said it before and I'll say it again. When the ref says go, I'm going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that octagon is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller to my opponent has nowhere else to go but into the hands of the killer gorilla. Best of luck, Jared. Thank you very much.